Guys, you remember how in my last video, Sam the Cam said this? I'm dying. Help me. Well, let's just say, guys, we should have actually have helped Sam the Cam. Because look at him now. He's literally, like, all deflated. Oh. Sadly, guys, Sam the Cam no longer has any air left inside of him. But before we get all sad and stuff, guys, let's actually try to air him up real quick and see if we can save him. Let's go over to the air pump right now. Yes. All right. Boom. Let's just go ahead and air him up really quick, and hopefully this works. Cam, stand back up, buddy. Guys, I put the plug back on the hole. But look, he's still losing air. No, Sam the Cam. Dang it. Dang it. You know what? I don't even care about Sam the Cam anymore. Oh! All right, seriously, though, guys, Sam the Cam really does have some holes in him. So he, like, loses air now, and he can't, like, stand up properly. But what we're actually going to be doing in today's beginning part of the video is using this bubble bubble right here and if you guys are wondering what a wubba bubble is well then you've come to the wrong place because i'm not even quite sure what a wubba bubble is but i'm pretty sure it's like some sort of ginormous balloon because if you look at the photo that's exactly what it looks like so guys i don't know i'm like super excited to use this wubba bubble let's go ahead and open it up and see what it looks like yeah let's just go ahead and start uh where do i even open this thing up at 12 seconds later come on open up Wow! Wow! It looks like Big Chung is the beach ball actually opened up the Wubba Bubble box. What? Okay, the first thing we have is this pump right here. So this is like the pump that airs it up. And then next, right over here, guys, this almost has to be it. The Wubble Bubble. Let's go. And then there's another thing inside. It looks like it's the instructions. Who needs those? <laughs> so let's go ahead and try to air this thing up. All right, we got the pump. I'm trying to figure out how to put this thing together. It's like super complicated. Two hours later. All right, so I got that. No, it's not turning on. Torg, it's not working because you need batteries. Okay, so we now have batteries inside of the pump. And so let's just pull this bubble bubble out of the plastic. And oh my gosh, look at this thing. It looks like it's actually like pink, but I ordered the color red. So now I guess we pretty much have a pink wubble bubble. But that doesn't matter, guys. Let's hurry up and go ahead and blow it up to see what it looks like. All right, let's see what happens. The pump stopped working. Okay, well, since this pump doesn't seem to be working, we're actually just going to use this pump instead right here. Oh, my goodness. Look how ginormous this thing is. Boom. Guys, check this thing out. It's so weird. It's made out of this, like, super flexible material. It's almost just like a ginormous balloon. I'm going to try to bounce it off of Big Chungus. Big Chungus, the bubble bubble's coming at you. Okay. <laughs> Well, that did absolutely nothing. All right, so now random stuff is gonna pitch the Wubble Bubble to me. So I got my baseball see? bat right here and let's see if I can hit it. All right, here we go. Let's do this. Let's do this. So now we're gonna take the bubble bubble and we're gonna throw it inside of the trampoline and see what it's like in there. <laughs> oh no! Later. Oh yeah, we did it! Oh yeah. Why are you looking at me like that, Wubble Bubble? Come at me, bro! I'm gonna John Cena you! John Cena! Die! <laughs> Okay, guys, this thing's, like, literally indestructible. I just put my, like, 5,000-pound body on top of it, and it still didn't pop. Why you always lying? But I'm not done yet, guys. Let's hurry up and head out to the pond really quick, and I'm gonna, like, body slam this thing into the pond. And it's probably not gonna do anything, but it sounds, like, really fun. So come on, let's go. <laughs> Okay, I'm just gonna throw it in the pond right here and then just like jump off the trampoline onto it. Here we go. In three, two, one. Let's do it. Yeah. Oh no, it's getting away. Look at that. Oh god. Guys, no, it got away. It's way too fast. 
I'm coming back. Well, guys, I guess since we don't have our Wubble Bubble anymore, we're just gonna go ahead and play the main part of the video right now. Because as you guys can see, the Wubble Bubble is like out there, and we'll just go over there and get it later whenever it floats to the edge. So I think in one of our future beginning part of the videos, we might actually try to destroy it and see how tough it really is. But yeah, anyways, guys, I really do hope you enjoyed this beginning part of the video. I hope you all enjoy the main part as well. It's gonna be super awesome, fun, and adventurous, and we will see you guys then. So peace out. Wait, the wobble bubble's at the edge. I'm gonna go grab it. 20 minutes later. Don't worry. I got it. The next day. Yo, what is up, Torg fam, and welcome to the main part of today's video. Now, guys, something crazy is actually kind of happening right now. Because earlier, I was, like, literally walking outside. And I, like, went down our steps and was walking through our yard, headed towards the trampoline. And then I, like, tripped over a frog. But I think he was okay, so that doesn't even matter. Then I came over here, and I was, like, climbing into the trampoline and stuff. And when I got on it, I was practicing my front flip flips, which I'm getting like pretty good at doing them. <laughs> But as I was coming out of my front flip, guys, I actually saw something in front of me. And it looked like it was like some sort of sign or something outside of the trampoline. Now, this is super crazy because if you guys do not know, in our last video, we actually found a sign literally right there in the same exact spot. And it was from like the evil character from Toy Story 4 named Benson. So I hurried up and I told random stuff to grab the camera and come out here as fast as he could so that we could check this thing out and see what it is. So, uh, yeah, without further ado, let's go over there and check it out. So here it is right here. I saw the back of this thing whenever I was jumping on the trampoline. And it actually looks like it says something on it. Let's go ahead and read it to see what it says on it. Yo, guys, it says, I'll see you tonight. No way, guys, this is super crazy. Because whoever left that note, which I'm guessing it was like Benson, literally said that they're gonna see us tonight. And I have absolutely no idea what they mean by that. But I actually just threw the sign over there. Let's go grab it really quick and see if it says somebody's name on the back of it so that we know who left it. Come on. Okay, so as you can see on the front, it doesn't say like it's signed by anybody. So let's check the back of it. Three, two, one. Oh no, guys. It's still blank. I don't see anybody's name on it anywhere. Guess we're gonna have to wait until tonight and tell whoever left this note comes and sees us like they said they're going to. But if I had to guess, it's probably gonna be Benson that will see us tonight because this sign was placed in like the same exact spot that the sign in our last video was in and that sign was from Benson but yeah anyways I guess we'll see you guys tonight I just saw this note and thought that I should show you guys it Tor, why don't you show them the new thing we just got wait a minute wait random a minute. stuff I guess you're right guys we're gonna go up on the porch and I'm gonna show you guys something new that we just got that I think is really gonna help us with our videos in the future so let's hurry up and go check it out <laughs> Big Chungus almost ate me. Okay, guys, boom. So right here is like where the new thing is that I want to show you guys. And uh, so look around. Let me know if you guys can find it in the comments down below. You guys should be able to see on camera. So yeah, this is the brand new thing that we just got. So if you guys haven't seen already, the brand new thing that we just got is this security camera right here. But yeah, I really think that this will help us in the future, like when it comes to spotting characters in our backyard and stuff. Because it's literally like a security camera, and if somebody like walks in front of it and stuff, it turns on and starts recording. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull the app up on my phone really quick and show you guys what the camera view looks like. A few moments later. So as you guys can see, that is me and random stuff right there. It's a little delayed, but it's really cool as you guys can see. Hello, camera. Oh, hello, man. So as you guys can see, this thing is like super cool and hopefully we can like again capture some characters like on camera in the future so yeah anyways i just wanted to show you guys our new camera really quick i think it'll be really cool and really help out with our future videos as well as i previously mentioned but yeah i guess we'll get back with you guys tonight and apparently there's gonna be like some character at our house or something at least according to that sign that we found so i guess we'll have to wait and see what happens so peace out until then
Hello? Hello? Yo guys, so right now it is currently like 11 p.m. at night. As you guys can see right here on my phone. And literally just like four minutes ago, the back camera that I was just showing you guys in the last scene just sent an alarm to my phone. Letting me know that something had just moved in front of it. So we just got the camera out really quick. And we're gonna go ahead and go to the app and see what it is that moved in front of it. Because again, it like records video if something does move in front of it. So here we go right now. Now I'm going to the app. I just swiped on the notification and let's see what the video is. Okay, I'm watching it. 12 seconds later. Oh my gosh! Guys, you gotta watch this video right now. Here it is. Guys, look who it is. That was literally Benson. Look, his face is right there and then the camera shut off. Let's watch that again super quick. Guys, he comes up to the camera right there and he's like staring right into it. And then like literally he like comes up and it looks like he hits the camera and it shut off. Guys, this is super crazy. We gotta hurry up and head out there right now before he like escapes or something because we gotta try and capture him. Because if you guys don't remember, he just like captured Woody, Buzz, Forky, and Jesse. He's like holding all of them hostage. So we gotta like hurry up and go and capture him right now so maybe he can tell us where they are so we can get them back we just can't waste any more time come on let's go our camera is literally on the other side of this door and that's where he was at okay come on we gotta be quiet so if he's still out here we don't scare him off No, guys, he's not here. This is like where he was at. Because this is our camera right here and his face was in it. And look, the camera's not turning on. I wonder if he broke it. Oh my gosh, no way, guys. What are we supposed to do? Tor Benson is literally right behind you. Hurry, look. What, Randoms, so are you serious? Oh my gosh, he's right, guys. Look, Benson is literally right there and he's standing up. No way, we literally gotta go over there and capture him right now before he like gets away. I'm just literally gonna like run over there and capture him with my bare hands. Come on, let's go. No! Benson! Guys, he's not here anymore! He was literally just right here! Oh my gosh, no way! He couldn't have went far! Come on! I'm not seeing him anywhere! Yo, what is this? Wait, this looks like the toe I used to like capture Gabby Gabby with just a couple of videos ago. Guys, what's it doing over here? I had it put up inside of our shed. Well, since we just looked like everywhere for Benson and we couldn't find him, let's take this thing up on the porch and check it out. Okay, guys, boom. Again, this is like the toad that I used to capture Gabby Gabby with, but I have no idea how it ended up right there in front of our porch. I kind of wonder if Benson put it there. Let's see if there's anything inside of it. And if there is, hopefully it's like Buzz, Woody, and Forky, and also Jesse as well. Okay, guys, here we go. We're going to open it up now. Here goes nothing. Uh, I accidentally flipped it over. Guys, look, this piece of paper just flew out of it. But I don't see, like, anything else inside of it. Let's check this thing out. It looks like it's another no. Let's go ahead and read it to see what it says on it. Put Gabby Gabby inside this box. Wait, so Benson literally wants me to put Gabby Gabby inside of this, like, box or tote thing. Let's see what the rest of it says real quick. And I'll give you Jesse, Woody, Buzz, and Forky back. Guys, no way! Benson is literally saying that if we put Gabby Gabby inside of this box and leave it out here, then he will, like, give us Jesse, Woody, Forky, and Buzz all back because, again, he's, like, holding them hostage because he captured them. So I'm guessing he literally just wants us to put Gabby Gabby inside of this and just leave it out overnight. And then whenever we wake up in the morning, we should have, like, Woody and all of them back. But, and then, like, Gabby Gabby will be free. So, guys, make sure you go in the comments down below right now. And let me know what you guys think about this. Like, what should our next move be? Should we give Gabby Gabby to Benson? So that hopefully he'll, like, give us Jesse, Woody, and Buzz, and Forky back? Or do you guys think it's too risky and that he's, like, trying to play some sort of trick or something? I don't know, guys, but I really do hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you all so much for watching. There's, like, literally nothing else that we can do right now until you guys let us know what it is that you guys think that we should do next. So I guess we will see you guys next time on a brand new video with that one random ginger. Peace out. Peace out.